Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to react to it for you guys. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, everything that you guys do for us. We're very, very appreciative. And thank you for always watching. You guys are the best. I hope you're doing all right. And may you stay blessed. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. By the way, a big shout out to everyone that keeps on subscribing. We're almost reaching 18,000 subscribers. And I'm just so excited. Um, so today we're going to be reacting to this is the best way you can fully relax your mind I need this video so without wasting time Let's get into the video We're noticing lots of people going through suicidal thoughts going through anxiety going through so much while we extend a hand of love to those a hand of love and understanding care and goodness to those we should say part of the remedy would definitely be to improve on your recitation of the Quran, remembrance of Allah, relationship with Allah, for he is the only one who has the solutions to your weaknesses and mine, to your difficulties and mine. It is Allah who is in charge. He is in control, definitely in charge. Allah is the owner of the hearts. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to say, Allahumma ya muqallib al qulub thabbit qulubana ala deenik. O oh Allah, in whose hands lies the turning of the hearts, turn our hearts towards your deen, towards your obedience, your, the faith that you have revealed to us. Brothers and sisters, whenever Allah has set rules and regulations, Every single time it is in order to empower us, in order to liberate us, in order to grant us the contentment we are searching for in this world and the next. Allah has never promised you material things, but he has promised you contentment and happiness. My brothers and sisters, some of the happiest people have very little when it comes to material belongings, but they have the ownership of something that is very great. That is the relationship with Allah and Allah is the owner of the heart. Allah will give it calmness. Allahu Akbar. Allahumma ya hayyu ya qayyum bi rahmatika astaghith. O oh Allah, O oh Allah who is ever living, ever watchful, ever alive. Subhanallah, the all living, the eternal, the everlasting. We seek desperate help of your mercy. We seek desperate help through your mercy, of your mercy. Aslih lana sha'nana kullaha. Make good for us all our affairs. Wala takilna ila anfusina tarfata'in. And don't leave us alone. Don't leave us to ourselves even for the blink of an eye. Subhanallah. When you make that dua, you are asking Allah to take care of all your affairs, to be with you at all times, to guide you to the best decisions in this world in such a way that you succeed in the hereafter. My brothers, my sisters, yes, many people follow the trends of this world. And these trends are sometimes leading to anxiety. Trends of the world to expose ourselves. We need to live up to a standard of someone else and we cannot do that. So we become depressed. Trends of the world to show off what you have. When you show off what you have, you will never have as much as others. So you will be led to depression and anxiety and stress and so much more. You will have sleepless nights trying to compete when Allah says you're not in a materialistic competition. Very amazing uh, message. Um, trying to see what I can talk about right now, given the position that we're in. We're always on our phones, checking our social media, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, uh, WhatsApp status. 
and we're checking to see what our friends are up to what our friends are buying what our how our friends are living life and everything in turn we end up making ourselves sad because we want to be living the lives that they're living we want to be buying the stuff that they're buying we want to be eating fancy things that they're eating but then that shouldn't be the case this is why we should be very very content with what we have you may not have what your friends have or the, the strangers that you see on social media have having but then you should be okay with what you have be fine even if you're not going out you're not eating if you're not drinking the most the most expensive water just be content with what you have and that at the end of the day stop worrying about unnecessary things and it's not a competition it's a like he said it's not a materialistic competition if anything we should be our own competition i should be my own competition to see myself be a better person the next hour or tomorrow be a better person that's um pulling myself towards god and not away from him that should be my competition nothing else otherwise these worldly things one day we're going to leave them behind then what's going to happen let's focus on the most important things and if we see people strain we are allowed to talk to our friends and say you know what this is not important don't waste your time getting depressed or anxious over such a thing rather maybe let's read the word of god or let's focus on more other things in life let me know what you guys think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.